and then you get back into the swing of things Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So um, I try not to put too much emphasis on it. You know, I have felt really calm about being in the playoffs, you know, even though it is the first time. I, I felt really good with where we're at mentally um, and as a team and the direction that we're heading. Obviously, you know, we're, we're doing big things and it's fun to be a part of that. So just enjoying the ride. Is it hard not to stew though over the missed opportunity at Kansas, which is one of your best tracks? Yeah, uh, well, I mean, like I said on Sunday, what the hell are you going to be mad at? Bad luck. I don't think she'll ever care, <laughs> right? So, um, you know, I questioned immediately when I got out of the car, you know, is it something that we did? You know, were we pushing the limits? And Booty has been very adamant on not putting us down that road for that to happen. And uh, and it, it wasn't anything that we did, uh, to my knowledge. So I think we just had a tire failure, which, which is unfortunate because we were really fast. And the icing on the cake is when you're already five laps down and you see the five back there, you know, whatever happened his day, and you're just like, go figure. You know, when you're having a bad day, the fastest car at that time has a bad day. And it's like, man. What could have been so, but uh, proud to see uh, Toyota and Victory Lane keeping the streak alive. Uh, proud of Tyler, proud of everybody on the 45. So it was, it was cool. For a team as young as 2311, what has been the key to success? I mean, just 100 starts, I think it was last week, yeah. five wins, yeah. got both in the playoffs. Yep. What's been the key to that success? I think just learning, uh, being having an open ear and open mind, and, and you know, listening to Denny, listening to a lot of veterans that we have on the team of, of steering the direction and, and trusting that process, right? Um, you know, we, we know that our cars are fast. We have to we have to massage on them a lot and uh, find every gray area. And, and you know, having Booty and Billy, you know, lead that ship is uh, really beneficial for our team. So we have the, the key people in the right areas to uh, to bring fast race cars. So it's good. Um, you know, there's often times where we're we're the top two Toyota cars. And that's that's big. So proud of everybody's efforts and we just got to keep it going. Regardless of how tomorrow ends up, yeah. does the mindset change at all for the rest of the season? No. Um, no, because I still got seven races that I'm contracted to race out. So I got to show up um, and I look forward to that. So, you know, for me, it's just race by race. Uh, in the playoffs, out of the playoffs, you still got to go out and make the most of it. So um, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I've never been in this situation, but, you know, if you are eliminated, it doesn't go back to like regular season points, right? You're, mm -hmm. you're only one or two points behind the guy in front of you, yeah. theoretically. Mm -hmm. So I can fifth, yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> so it'd be a career best points finish for you. Already, yeah. Um, that already happened. So, um, yeah, we just have to uh, keep after it. Eliminated or not, you gotta keep grinding until the checkered flag at Phoenix. You got your car chief wasn't there on s s Sunday for the race. I was looking for him all weekend. Well, I know. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, my question is, did it matter at all as far as the repairs? Like, could you did you get any sense of like it, did it impact you guys? In I think that was like worst case scenario, right? We uh, we have a failure like that and a broken toe link, and and you know he's the leader of all the mechanics, and uh, I think we did a, a decent job of, of getting us back out there. Would it have saved us a lap if he was there? I'm not really sure, but you know, either way, it was a day ender, and you, you hate to have that from the start of the weekend have him ejected and then end up the way we did. And you know, I'm sure he carries that with him, but you're chasing bad luck again. So it's it's nothing to hang our heads about. It, it is what it is. So I'm proud of my group for for trying and um, just got to keep going. So. I think he's still here this weekend, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. we're good. All right, all right, cool. So, I didn't want to suggest breaking the toe lane. Yeah, no, <laughs> hell no, you don't want to do that. Um, no, but I thought our, our team did a really good job of, of salvaging a day. Um, you know, we needed a big pileup. We needed a Talladega pileup with all 16, 15 other playoff cars, but that didn't happen, so. If you advance to the next round, how do you think those line up for you? I mean, given how strong you were yeah. at Kansas, a 1.5 mile race going to Texas and then you're good at super speedways. You go to Talladega and then the Roval. Yeah, the second round was the one I'd circled. That's the one I told Booty after our uh, meeting on after Daytona. I was like, man, second round is, is the one that's going to be, you know, kind of the, the deal breaker for us. So Texas, not really my favorite, and it doesn't race like any other mile and a half. Um, we're still going there. They haven't blown it up yet. Damn. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, Talladega, Talladega, Roval, we finished decent there, top 10, so, but you just got to really work hard in the first race, and you can't have any mistakes, so like Kansas, Kansas really 
set us back. You know, we were, I don't know where we were at as far as high as we were during the race at that point when we were running second, but I know it was a lot better where we're at right now. 